Hi, I'm Xander, and I did video production one, one time. I would say I've learned enough during that time to qualify myself as someone who can tell you you're not doing enough to make yourself look presentable over the internet. That's not good enough. I've been told I have to help you stop that. Unfortunately, any youth born after 2000 can't focus. All they know is vibe, TikTok, cry, and mock trial. So, in no particular order, here are the top 10 ways to better internet trial. Mardi Gras edition. Hey! 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 Wait a minute! Hey! What? What what is what does Mardi Gras have to do with anything? Well, I mean, it's it's really just the, the, the color scheme of the video. I mean I don't I don't see why Yeah, but that's just kinda lame. It's also a mnemonic device for the three major aspects of presentation of quality, focus, and professionalism. Okay, but how is it a mnemonic device? You know, I'm glad you asked that. You see, the concepts I'm discussing are best represented by the colors of a traditional Mardi Gras celebration because of what those colors stand for. For quality, I chose gold, as the power of your presentation is helped immensely by the quality of it. For focus, I chose green, because I need faith that you'll do everything you can to keep your audience and yourself focused on what you're doing. Lastly, for professionalism, I chose purple, as it takes professionals to deliver justice while looking good at the same time. What? But hey- The setting, or the location you plan to mock a trial, is the number one thing to keep in mind when it comes to presentation. It's the simplest thing you can do to make your virtual trial seem even more professional. The setting is unique in the sense it affects all three criteria of your presentation, the quality, the focus, and the professionalism. Lucky for you, I exist, and I'll explain each one. Nowadays, People have too much access to technology that makes noise, and that includes you. But you don't need some $70 microphone to improve your audio quality. It can be as simple as finding a nice quiet spot to record without any background noise. How do you keep binding me? And especially not any parents. A good spot for this could be your room. Okay, now I'm gonna spit some fat video production about the focus of a setting. Be a minimalist when it comes to the grounds. Blam, 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 blam. Now you ask, what exactly are the grounds? What a great question! They are the background and the foreground of the shot. What's the difference between the two? Another great question! Well, one's in the back and one's in the fore. No, 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 no. Let, let me elaborate. One's focus is severely hindered by any distractions that bring you or the viewer out of what's going on. Duh. Stuff in the foreground can distract you, while stuff in the background can distract the viewer. Protecting the safety of your background also comes with a plethora of threats, unlike the foreground. This can include siblings and parents, Honey. but mainly when it comes to backgrounds, just keep things simple. Avoid nature, the living room, your pantry, and let's all just try and stay out of the bathroom. Keep it professional, like an office, library, or minimalist virtual background. When it comes to the foreground, try to limit stuff that would distract you. Little things that you might play with in your hands, a spinny chair, or anything on your average cluttered desk.
And really, as long as you remember, blah, you'll be fine. A good spot for this, your room. The final trait of a good setting to consider is lighting, which is by far the most professional part of your location. However, you're high school students. Most of you are lazy and many of you aren't cool. The quickest way to disprove that sentiment is to try indirect natural lighting. The easiest way to accomplish this without buying studio lights is to just use household lighting, for example, a lamp, and bounce it off the ceiling. However, make sure to avoid overly bright light on the bottom or top of your face as it creates strange, unnecessary shadows. From my experience, it's best to try dampening it. For example, an umbrella. Also, whatever you do, avoid backlighting like the plague. You look like a demon. I am the void. Also, if it hasn't been said enough already, the best setting is probably your room. Okay, and now that you've found the right setting and the right lighting, it really just comes down to technology. So obviously you're gonna dress up for this mini competition of ours, but to what degree? Try the best you can. Whether you're being charged with tax fraud in 15 different states, or you're pretending to be charged with tax fraud in 15 different states, the way you sit matters. Just like walking up to the sand and sitting next to the judge, everything you do means something. Just discuss with your attorney how you're gonna sit. It's not my problem. You know, looking back at this, no, no, I don't. The only major thing left in your control at this point is the audio and its quality. The simple solution? Just talk like you're in mock trap. Speak loud, clear, and uh, don't... Who wrote this script? Don't read it. It sounds like a robot. You sound stupid. When it comes to the internet and video quality, things are pretty static. For the sake of quality, just try sitting inside somewhere that doesn't require a lot of pixels, limit the number of devices using the internet, and try the best you can when it comes to video quality. Other than that, there's not really much you can do. Just try your best. Last, just check everything. Make sure that your Wi-Fi works, call a friend, do this audio test, sit nice, wear nice clothes, it, you can't really mess it up. And uh, that's it. Bye bye. Even for people that don't have hair anymore, Tyler.